Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. A lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. You think y'all never fight? Exactly. You think y'all supposed to pay for that? Or the most I'm supposed to let this slide. Don't get out of here. Read this. Out. <laughs> this is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it up. For behold, the day coming, they shall burn as an oven. They shall what? They shall, shall burn, burn as, as an oven. They shall come, they shall burn as an oven. Read on now. And all the proud. And all the what? And, and all, all the, the proud. proud. Yeah. And all that do wickedly. The people that do wickedly is mainly your nation of people. Nuclear destruction upon the earth. Nuclear bombs everywhere. Polluting the ozone. Killing off all the animals. Oppressing all the people. We don't know. Shall be stopped. Shall be what? Shall be stopped. What is Esau and his Israeli dog? Shall be stopped. And the day that comes, shall burn their mouth. Do what? Shall burn their mouth. Brother, what's your nationality according to the body? Brother, why you let me give it? Let me say it. What's your nationality? Do you believe in the Bible, brother? I do. Do you do the things that's in the Bible? I'm a hypocrite, to be honest. Okay, man, that's being honest, man. Yeah, Let me ask true. you, who are you according to the Bible? What's your nationality? Bring brother? it out. I identify myself as a Chicano. Which is what? Would be from the Aztec? Mexican-American? Mexican-American. Yeah, then guess what? You will be from the tribe of Issachar, bro. Right? Bring it out! Y'all be one of the 12 tribes of Israel because guess what? Y'all go through the same atrocities that's written in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15 through 68. Guess what? The Spaniards came over here and conquered y'all. The Most High God gave y'all this land, but guess what? When y'all started going off, worshiping idols, the Santa Maria, the Santa Brete, guess what? The Most High God brought judgment on y'all. You understand that? Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Because us, by us being Israelites, guess what? We have to a higher standard. We have to be keeping God's commandments. Because guess what? We cannot be hypocrites, man. And it's not hard to keep God's commandments. Read this. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God said it shall come to pass, meaning it will happen. If you don't follow this the words of this Bible to do them, we don't uh, to observe to do all his commandments. How many commandments are there, brother? Man, we hear all types of numbers, man. It's 613 commandments, brother. That's right. And guess what? They're not hard to do. How many commandments do America have? They have over thousands of commandments, brother, and laws. But guess what? We break our necks to try to keep them, don't we? That's right. Read this. Uh, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, that all these what? That, that all, all these, these curses, curses. A curse a good or a bad thing, brother? Is it? I'm asking. It's a question. A curse is a bad thing, brother. Somebody put a curse. Man, we hear this all the time. For real, why? Give me uh, verse 48. Tell me if this is a good thing right here, brother. For real. Read this, huh? Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Yeah. Verse 48. Therefore, shall thou observe thy enemies. Read this again for the brother, man. Therefore, shall thou observe. Serve, serve thine enemies. So God said, this is also one of the curses. So God said, for breaking his commandments, therefore shalt thy serve thine enemies. Now, what is the definition of the of a word enemy? Is it somebody that loves you? Or is it somebody that has your best interest at heart? So guess what? This is a curse. So is that a good curse? That's something that's bad, bro. So for breaking God's commandments, he was going to make us serve the people that hate our guts, man. Who is ruling the planet Earth? What nation of people rules the planet Earth? Brother, you know. You know. You know it, man. Stop playing these games, man. We all know it, man, but we psychologically program not to go against it. 
or not to tell the truth because guess what? Hell, they lies. We don't know. To say they, serve their enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. The Most High sent them against us. He sent them, Christopher Kelly Columbus, against y'all because y'all broke the commandments. You never wanted to know why y'all don't own America anymore because y'all broke the commandments, man. The whole world, the whole earth is out of order because we not in our order in keeping the commandments. We don't not. In hunger. So what does that mean? We have to serve our enemies in hunger. So what grocery stores do you shop at? Who owns Walmart? Exactly. So when we want to uh, want some food, what do we got to go spend money with them? Or starve to death? Because we don't own no produce. We don't cultivate the land here anymore. You know, all these things are in the hands of our enemies. We don't not. And it does. So when you don't pay your water bill, who owns the water company? Exactly. You get the picture, man. So guess what? These are not good curses. A curse is not a good thing, man. Contrary to popular belief. We don't know. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. You know what that's going into? The clothing that you wear. It may have Sean John on it, but who really owns it? Who really owns it? Exactly, man. They make it. They use the textile fields. They own the cotton fields. Our people don't own none of these things, man. So that's a curse according to the Bible, brother. That's not a good thing. We don't know. And in one of all things. Now this part right here is heavy. In one of all things. If you want a job, what nation do you have to go to? If you want to go to school or send your children to school, who you got to go to? You want a job? Say it again. He even knows that. He even knows that that's his people. Because guess what? If you want a driver's license, who you got to go to? Our people don't own the DMV. Half the people don't even have a driver's license. You understand? So guess what? This is curses according to the Bible. Bring it out. Right. This is Bring not something that's good, man. Jump up to verse uh, uh, 43. Verse 43. The stranger that is within, so like within thee, shall get above thee every very high. So the stranger is going into the other nations. The other nations, when we came up out of Egypt, they was amongst us. But God said, those strangers, if y'all don't keep my commandments, I'm going to raise them above y'all. And you see the effects of that today. That's why I never wanted to know why we ain't ruling the planet Earth. It's because we're not in order. We're not keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Sister, this is for you too. Sister, what's your nationality? Right, go ahead. Check us out, man. Sister, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible, sis? Well, you get back in this Bible and read. More importantly, do the things that's in the Bible. Give me 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. And repent as an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. That's right! Whoever gets that first, you got it? Read this out. It's the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. Bring it out! Wherefore the brethren, therefore, brethren, the rather brethren, Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Read that again, huh? Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Guess what? We need to make our calling and our election sure in this world as being Israelites. That's right. As being repentant Israelites. Because guess what? The righteous shall barely make it in. So if brothers count their sales as 144,000, man, and brothers is out of the spirit. That's right. We just gotta get back in the spirit, man. We don't know. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So guess what? If we do these things, make our election diligent, we should never fail. We have no problem walking through those pearly gates with our hell hair high. Brother, what's your nationality according to the Bible? You believe in the Bible, brother? We done dealt with you before, man. But yeah, man, we need you on this side, brother. Do you believe in the Bible? You think it's the white man's book? Tell me what you think, brother. You believe the Bible? You think like that we the people of the Bible? Where do you go? Where does she go to church? And that's okay. But well, guess what? More importantly, she needs to do the things that's in the Bible. You understand that? Because you need men of the Lord to teach you. Give me that in the book of Acts chapter 8 and verse 28. 
hold your peace, Aki. Don't get too loud, Aki. Don't, don't get too fired up, man. Just keep it simple, man. Pass out fly. Read this, Aki. It's the book of Acts, chapter 8, and verse 28. Was returning and sitting in his chariot. Read Isaiah, the prophet. So this unit was sitting reading the prophet Isaiah. Read on, Aki. That's my name. Oh, uh, praise, man. So the Spirit is talking with you, man. You need to bear witness with this thing and listen. We know not. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to his chariot. So the Spirit was talking to Isaiah and telling him to go to a chariot. We know not. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. So he was reading the prophet Isaiah, the book of Isaiah. We know not. And said, Understand this, thou what thou readest. So the prophet asked the man, did you understand what you was reading out of the Bible? Let's see what the prophet said. Read on up. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? He said, how can I accept some man should teach me? So you need learned men of the Most High God to teach you the true understanding of the Bible, brother. That's right. Good. Let's get the first understanding. Right. Give me Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 9. This is the first understanding of learning the Bible, brother. Because like we tell brothers and sisters, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Who are you? What race do you classify yourself as? Black. Black is the color in the crayon box. Your pants is black. Are you the same color as your pants? Exactly, man. We come in different shades of brown, brother. So guess what? First you need to find out who you are. Then this. Read this, huh? This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 28, verse 9. Uh -huh. Who shall he teach knowledge? It says, whom shall he teach knowledge? Who shall the most high teach knowledge? The knowledge according to the Bible is in Malachi 2 and 7, which is his laws. We don't know. And who shall he make to understand doctrine? Who shall the most high make to understand the words in this book? We don't know. Them that are weaned from the milk. First you have to be weaned from the milk. Forgetting all the philosophies that we done learned in this wicked kingdom. Because guess what? We have been taught nothing but lies since we got off those slave ships in 1619. That's right. Know. And draw from the breast. Uh -huh. For precept. For what? For, for precept. precept. For, what? for, for precept. precept. Must be. Be a part of precept. So the Most High is giving you the understanding of how to, to read the Bible. Precept must be upon precept. Now the definition of a precept is a law. So that's why you see brothers read back and forth. Brother, what's that precept? What's the precept to love? First John 5 and 3. We don't know. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Now a line is a Bible verse. We don't know. Line up. Listen on the way, man, because this is very important, man. Read on up. Last upon last. Uh-huh. Here ain't little. Girl, little in the Old Testament. Read on up. In there ain't little. In the New Testament. Read on up. For with stammering lips in another tongue will he speak to this people. That's why the Most High had the prophets translate the Bible. I had King James translate the Bible because guess what? We speak English in our England captivity. Because guess what? Make no mistake, America is derived from Great Britain. That's right. That's right. They taught us these languages. Because guess what? Our original language is Hebrew. We didn't speak none of this garbage, this bastard language, how we got out here. Brother, what's your nationality according to the Bible, brother? What's your nationality? You believe in the Bible? You already got the beard, man. You just need the, uh, the, the, the fringes and everything else, man. A lot of times our people ain't got time for the word. Give me Zechariah chapter 7 verse 11. Our people ain't got time for the word. But guess what? They gonna need time when their day of judgment comes. That's right. That's they right. gonna be trying to find time when their day comes. And it's gonna be too late. You give me 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 10. Uh, read this up. Uh, Zechariah 7 and 11. Read this up. Uh, it's the book of Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 11. But they refused to hearken. What did that brother do? But, but they, they refused, refused to hearken. That brother refused to hearken. Read on, huh? And pulled away the shoulder. We try to get the brother to stop. He pulled the shoulder away. Read on, huh? And stop their ears. And then what? And stop their ears. A lot of times we see our people coming through with the ear bugs and they ear trying to stop the word from going in, man. Read on, huh? 
that they should not hear. That they should not hear. That, that they, they should, should not hear. hear. Ye, they made their hearts as a adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by for by the former prophets. By the who? Former prophets. By the former prophets. That's why the Most High God has us out here. Brother, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Brother, Jew with your dreads. Brother, you believe in the Bible, brother? Come deal with us, brother. We are here for you, man. Come talk to us. You believe in it? Brother, guess what? We don't have there because we in captivity. That's right. Up, yeah, and talk right. back as a nation of people. Because guess what? What is your economic policy? Let me deal with them out. Because guess what? We know that we are in captivity. But guess what? We're trying to get out of captivity, brother. Huh? It's not up, brother. Because guess what? Is Christ coming back? Is Christ here? What? Give us the understanding on it, brother. Then. Brother, guess last time I checked, we still up under the curse. That prophecy was going to the Egyptian no, 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 captivity. No, 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 no. It's not for this captivity, brother. You know what? Exactly what Kanye was talking about. Exactly what who was talking about. Exactly what Kanye was talking about. Oh, that brother made it from him. Bugged out. So you and we're going to listen to so, him. No, I'm not. I ain't. around I, on I, the I damn donkey trying to portray himself as Christ. I did not try to say I listened to him. I said the fuck with him was up and you said that uh, captivity, all that, bro. Captivity is up to you. You want to be in captivity? That is up to you. What? Brother, that is nonsense. Well, now you saying just what? like Kanye West. Brother, we do not have no economic hey, might. Hey, we do hey, not hey, have hey, no military hey, might. Hey, hey, How hey, is that, man? Hey, hey, hey. Look at, all these, look at all these fucking Jesuits. How is that, man? Fucking Cohen Tail. Cohen Tail 2.0. Get yourself out of this situation. Stop yourself from riding the train. Stop yourself from riding the bus. This is the Israel I'm talking about. Stop yourself from riding the bus. This is the Israelites 2.0, bro. That's right. We're trying to raise up a nation. That's right. That is counterintelligence program against the black men. Bring it out, bro. How the hell are we going to be against ourselves? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 28. Bring it out. Bring it out. People are bugged the hell out, man. Brothers want to be so deep. Want to be so deep. Give me some back to the 3 verse 21. We do. We do everyone. We ain't just on. We over there in the hoods. We where our people are. That's right. What the hell you think we doing out here? Cause we mainly see our people out here. Jeremiah No, you need to worry about Deuteronomy 28, 28. We just Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Bring it out. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. For the brother, man. The, the Lord, Lord shall smite thee with madness. We out here trying to build up a nation, but you saying that we co and tail pro? Yep. Brother, you have no understanding, man. Co and tail pro is a counter intelligence program up, against right? the black Americans. Yeah, you are. Against the so called Israelites, who we really are, man. And you have no understanding of that. We thought you didn't know that. Edgar Hugo brought in know, to destroy us as a nation. That's we right. trying to build our y'all. people I'm up. You ain't teaching. So like, you ain't find it in the Bible. Read this up. Read the book of Zareth, chapter three, verse twenty-one. See, turn to Jeremiah thirty right now. That are too old. Turn to Jeremiah thirty nine. Take your time. I'm reading it again. Turn to Jeremiah 30 and 9. Hey, give me a read up real quick. Turn to Jeremiah this again, 30 huh? and 9. See. Turn to Jeremiah 30 and 9. Turn to Jeremiah 30 and 9. That are too hard. Turn to Jeremiah 30 and 9. Read that again. Nehemiah, come up here. Huh? Turn to yep. Jeremiah See? 30 and 9. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you too hard for me. That's what the Bible says. Seek not out things something. that's too hard for you, brother. I'm going to show you You're trying to be so deep. And guess what? You're not keeping the basic commands. We we'll get your scripture, but guess what? We want you to give us the understanding as well. We don't know. Turn to Jeremiah 30. The things that are too hard for thy strength. Guess what? Don't search the things that's above your strength because all these things go right okay. over your head, okay. man. That's right. That brothers that's out here for you, okay. and you really want to be with the other nation. Okay. You have okay. no understanding. Okay. Give me that. Uh, yeah, read that. Uh, Sarek, chapter 3, verse 21. Read this, huh? 
Turn and turn my look at this nigga, bro. You don't get no shine on this camera. No, no, yeah. 21. I don't get no shine. See out, turn and turn See, not by your things that are too hard. We don't hop. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. Don't search the things that's above your strength. We don't hop. But what is commanded thee? But what? But what is commanded thee? Keeping the least commandments out here, and you trying to correct us, man. Bring it all out, damn mind. Bring it all out. Speak with reverence. With what? With reverence. What? With, with reverence. What? That are in secret. Are in what? That are, are in secret. Be not curious, curious in unnecessary matters. Read that again for the brother, man. Be not curious, curious in unnecessary matters. Trying to go all off into the matters that ain't got a damn thing to do with building up our people, man. We out here trying to build up our people, man. You kill the prophets. Give me the uh, give me uh, the second answer, chapter one, verse five. This brother's bugged the hell out, man. Jeremiah, ain't nothing but a spirit. You see that spirit coming out on us? Somebody go to Jeremiah thirty and nine. Cause you don't have no understanding of the scripture at all. Read this up. The book of Second Ezra, chapter one and verse five. Go thy way and shoot my people their sinful deeds. They what? Their, their sinful, sinful deeds. deeds. You in all type of sin, and you out here trying to teach the prophets, man. Man, we ain't going for that garbage, man. We don't not for their children. Uh, Slacky and their children, their wickedness. And their children, what? Their wickedness. Because guess what? Guess what? A lot of our people were of the prophets, but it was many prophets and people that believed on Christ, man. You don't have no understanding of this. Give me John chapter 8, verse 31. We don't know. Hey, They're wickedness. Full crap, they man. Have done against me. That they may tell their children's children. That they may do what? Tell their children's children. That they may do what? Tell their children's children. We don't know. Because the sin of their fathers. Because the what? The sin of their fathers are increased in them. Y'all stay in the spirit. We don't let these scriptures come to the common man. We don't know. For they have forgotten you. And have offered unto strange God. To what? Strange God. To what? Strange God. That's what you offer to strange God, man. Why are you not keeping the commandments? Jeremiah 30. Why are you not keeping the commandments? Y'all even teach that. We not in we not in captivity having to keep the commandments. Y'all even teach that. So what? Is this where we go that you don't believe in Christ? Jeremiah 30 and 9. Ruth 3 and 8. Do you believe in Christ? I'm going to show you something if you turn to Jeremiah. Give me Jeremiah 30 and 9. Let's see what he's talking about. Read this out. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 9. But they shall serve the Lord their God. And David, their king, who I will raise up unto them. Uh -huh. so Read that again. Verse 9. But they shall serve the Lord their God. And David, their king. And David who? Oh, and David, their king. So what does that mean? So is David, David coming comes, back to Rome? David comes back before Christ comes back, right? <laughs> oh, that? God. And that's what we tell the brothers. Humble your spirit and no, 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 the true no, no, no. First, of all, first of all, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you right now. No, I'm you cannot. Right now, I'm telling you right now, I am related to David, okay? I am. <laughs> you may be. Oh, look. He no, may no, be. No, no, no. But guess I'm, what? No, I'm You're going to get put to death, death if you don't keep these commandments. That's right. Read this. This is this. Read this. The book of the book of verse second Samuel, chapter seven and verse twelve. Right. And when the days be revealed, all right. All right. All right. So like verse thirteen, right. and he said, build that house. Right. 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 Verse twelve. And when the day be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy foe, I will set up thy seed after thee. Read that again for the wicked brother that has no understanding. I will set up thy seed after thee. So guess what? David died, man. And the Most High is prophesied through Samuel. He will set up his seed after him. Read it out. Which shall proceed. Out thy power. That is going into Solomon, but hold up, we don't know. And I will establish his kingdom, and he shall build an house for my name. That's him building the tabernacles, we don't know. And I will, I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. No, a little while. For forever. Just a little while. Forever. That's what King David died, man. His kingdom is not going to be forever. That is for the king of kings, lord of lords, man. We don't know. Verse 14. And I will be his father. And he will do what? And, and I, I will, will be, be his father. father. Read up. And he shall be my son. Man, that's going into the most high. This son, Yahweh shot, man. That's Let's right. get some more on that. Give me some chapter 110 and, nine, and, eight, and one, man. 
brother don't have no damn understanding trying to come up here and teach the prophets. Ain't keeping them commandment. Read this out. The book of Psalms, chapter 110 and verse 1. The Lord said unto my Lord. Read that again. Huh? The Lord said unto my Lord. This is King David prophesied about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh. King David said, my Lord said unto my Lord. Nah, it's zero. And this is the most time talking to Christ, man. Bring it out. Read that again, huh? The Lord said unto my Lord, sit down at my right hand. That's what he was talking to King David when he said that, man. That's only reserved for the most high in his son, Yahweh. Give me Acts chapter 7 and verse 22, man. Read that again, huh? The Lord said unto my Lord. Sit down at my right hand. Sit down what? At my right hand. At his work. At, at my, my right hand. Until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Oh, man, come on, man. Brothers, these Old Testament Israelites is bugged the hell out. Brother, what's your nationality according to the Bible, brother? Instead of fighting for the U.S. Army, you need to be fighting for your God, brother. That's right. Fighting for the Israelites, your people, man. That's right. These people don't love you and for what you do to them. You just put nothing like your life on the line for nothing, man. That's right. That's right. Yeah, give me Acts chapter 7, verse 22. Read this out. The book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 22. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of each. No, nah, that ain't what I want. Uh, read that out. The book of Acts, chapter 2, then verse 34. For David is not ascended into the heavens. Read that again. I For David is not ascended into the heavens. But he said himself, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand. Yeah. David is giving honor to Hamashiach Yahweh. That's right. Until I make thy foes thy footstool. Because guess what? Christ is coming back to put all these enemies under his footstool, man. Yeah. That's right. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God had made that same Jesus, Jesus, whom ye have crucified. Whom ye have what? Whom ye have crucified. Both Lord and Christ. Both what? Both Lord and Christ. Both King David. Both Lord and Christ. Man, your house house gonna be Lord and Christ. You won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. God's weapons of war, we won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle axis, like God's weapons. Chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Bring it morning, and the gates thereof lightly. He said the real Jews are in mourning, and the gate, they ain't got no, they ain't got no gates right now. We ain't got no protection. They are black. They are what? They are black. Now, the so-called white man wrote this Bible. They are black. If the so-called white man wrote this Bible and stepped on it, they would have took out that the real, real Jews are black.